Okay, so one of the easiest ways to improve your Shopify store's average order value is through bundling. Shopify bundles are added to your store using a Shopify app, but then you gotta pay money for it every month. Well, lucky for you, I figured out a way to add it to your Shopify store without an app at all and completely for free. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So if that sounds good to you, you're watching the right video, let's get into it. Okay, so before we get started, I need to show you where the inspiration for this video came from. So a while back, uh, I was looking through the Shopify community forum and I found this post about someone asking how to set up quantity discounts on a product page. So I scrolled through the conversation being had here and what he was recommended was to either find the developer to build this out on his store or to use one of the many popular Shopify apps to get this done. Now I was looking through some options. I found this Shopify app called Kaching Bundle Quantity Breaks. And essentially, it allows you to do exactly what the guy was trying to do, where he's trying to allow people to bundle multiple of the same product together and get a discount. So let's see, for example, right here, you can see a person could buy one t-shirt or they can buy two t-shirts. And if they buy multiple t-shirts, maybe they can get a discount. You can see right here with the socks, if people buy a duo or a trio pack of the socks, they're able to get a discount. So this is exactly what the guy was trying to set up. Now I took what that app, the Kaching Quantity Breaks app did as inspiration and built out my own version of this with custom code. So you can see on the product page beneath the buy it now button, I have where it says buy more, save more. And the person can either buy two at 10%, three at 10% or four at 10%. Now these text options are able to be adjusted as well. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So in order to show you how it works, I need to first install it into a fresh version of the Shopify Dawn theme that I have right here. I'm gonna use this. Now whatever theme you're using, make sure to duplicate it first before you start working with it because as I always say, it is a no-no to work on your live theme. Never do it. So we're gonna click where it says edit code and take a look here. Now, if you click in the description of this video, there's gonna be a link that'll take you to a way to get access to the code that I wrote for this video. So click on that link, get access to the code, and then continue the video from there. So once you have access to it, you should see the code when you scroll down in the tutorial. The first thing you're looking for is where it says the code for bulk add to cart buttons. And you're gonna copy that. Then you're gonna head back over to whatever theme you're using and you're gonna close out all of the things they have open and you're gonna add in a new snippet. The snippet is called bulk add to cart buttons. You're gonna click done and then you're gonna paste in the code that you copied. And once you're done, you're gonna hit save. All right, so that's the first part. Now we're going to go back to the tutorial, scroll down and look for the code that says the code for main product file when statement. You're gonna copy that, head back over to your edit code window. You're gonna minimize the snippets folder and then you're gonna open up the sections folder. You're looking for a section that's called main-product.liquid. Open that up. Now we need to search for the word when. So you're gonna do control F if you're on Windows or command F if you're on Mac and type in the word when. Now you're looking for the last time the word when is used. So as you can see, it's used a few times on the page. I'm gonna keep scrolling until I don't see it anymore. This is the last one where it says when icon with text on line 657. So underneath where it says render, we're going to add a new space and we're gonna paste in what we copied. And then I'm gonna move the stuff we copied in just so that it looks nicer. And you can see inside of our new when statement, we are rendering the bulk add to cart buttons file that we just created. So once you got that finished, we're going to hit save. You're gonna go back to the code tutorial and we're going to look for where it says the code for bulk add to cart block settings. We're gonna copy that. And these are all the settings, all the customization settings for the code that I wrote. So we're gonna go back to the edit code window. We're gonna open up control F or command F again. And we're gonna look for where it says as blocks. So eventually you should see where it says schema and then it says blocks. We're gonna scroll down to the block for the buy buttons. 
I can see it right here, buy buttons. I think it ends on line 917. On line 917, we're gonna hit enter to create some space. Now we're gonna paste in what we copied. And really important, we wanna make sure on line 1030 to put a comma at the end, because if you don't, this is not gonna work. So once you got that, you're gonna hit save, and then we're gonna go back to customize this theme. So the way to get there is you just click this icon right here that says exit, and we're gonna hit customize on the theme you're working on. So we're going to go to the product page template because the change we made was to the main product section, which is this product information section. So if we click where it says add block, we should see bulk add to cart buttons as an option for a block. So we'll add that in and I'm gonna drag it underneath where it says buy buttons. So I'm gonna hit save and boom. You now see the bulk add to cart buttons showing up right here. So there's a bunch of customization options that you have in here. You can change the block title where it says buy more, save more. You can change the color of it. You can change the color of the divider. And you can change the text at each level. So just to show that off to you real quick, I'm going to change the text to say buy two at 10% off buy three at 20% off, and then buy four at 30% off. And you can see the text is updating in real time right here. And then I even added in an option to allow you to control just how much you want the person to add with the button. And I also added in some logic to allow for it to not add in more than the amount you have left over in inventory. Now, it doesn't do real-time inventory tracking because the only way I can make that work is if I made a Shopify app but it'll track whatever the inventory was at when the page loaded. And then you have color options to change the text color, change the button background color, lots of stuff you can play with here. But I like it the way that it is right here. I'm gonna save and I'm going to preview what this looks like. So I'm going to click this icon right here to preview the theme. I'm in the theme preview, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this page and reload it. I should still be in the theme preview and you'll see the buttons are all right there. So I have two things in my cart right now. I'm going to get rid of them and then I'm going to, boom, look at that. I buy two, I buy four, now I have six things in my cart. If I buy three, I should have nine. This is working so far. All right, so that works just fine. So remember the second part of this video is we're gonna add in the quantity-based discount on our store. So now we have the first piece, we have the buttons set up. Now we just need to add in the quantity-based discounts, which we're gonna do right now. Okay, fortunately for us, adding the quantity-based discounts is actually the really easy part of doing this whole thing. So what you'll do is you'll go back to your Shopify admin dashboard, hover over where it says discounts, click on that. We're gonna set up a new discount, but real quick, let me show you the discount that I currently have set up for buy two and get 10% off. So you can see I have the discount as being a percentage discount applied to specific products. You can apply it to different collections if you want. Now, here's a little tip for you. What you can do is you can create an alternate product page template that you can use this bulk add to cart button on. That way you still have access to your regular product page template, but then you could also use the bulk add to cart one as well. All right, so I'll scroll down. You can see I set the minimum purchase requirements to be a quantity of items too, and I don't allow it to be combined with anything else, and then I set a start date for it. So pretty simple, but let's hover back and let's make a new discount. So I'm going to click amount off product as a discount type for this. And then for the discount code, I'm gonna set automatic discount. The title, I'm gonna put buy three, get 20% off. The discount percentage is 20%, and I'm going to apply this to a specific product. For me, I'm working on a test product just to show this to you as an example, where you apply this to whatever product you need to apply this to. And then I'm not gonna set a minimum purchase amount. I'm gonna set minimum purchase, a minimum quantity of items, which for this example is three. And yeah, that should be good. I saved it, now this discount is active. Okay, hold on. And now I'm gonna create a duplicate of this for the buy four example. So we're gonna say, okay, buy four, get 30% off. And then we're gonna change that to 30. 
and then change the minimum requirements of quantity to be four, and I'm gonna save that discount. So now I have all three of those discounts active. Buy two, get 10% off. Buy three, get 20% off. Buy four, get 30% off. So let's test this out right now. So we're gonna go back to our theme preview that had the buttons on it, and I'm going to clear this out. And let's test this out. So let's buy four. Boom, buy four, get 30% off order. Now, where you might encounter some issues with this is if, let's say, for example, somebody wants to buy four, but then they also want to buy three. I think it's going to probably default to buy four since there are four or more products being shown here. But either way, this is how you set up a bulk, a product bundle on your Shopify store. So I know this was a long one, but we did get through it. Okay, so I put a crazy amount of time putting all this stuff together when writing all the code for this video and just thinking about how I wanted the video to be. So I really do hope you guys get value out of this. So if you've made it this far, you should have a working version of Shopify product bundles on your product page. So yay you. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you'll love this next one that I have about how to use and install Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store. If you're interested in building a profitable Shopify business, you definitely need to know how to do this. So click into that video. It should be somewhere on the bottom of the screen right now to click into it hope to see you in there and i hope you enjoyed this video